question that has always puzzled me before I came to Qatar was how financially prepared should I have been? I bet those first timers always ask themselves the same questions. Considering Qatar being the richest country in the world, or can I say among the richest countries in the world, or one of the richest countries in the world, someone would wonder, how much money would I need to survive before I receive my first salary? There are always first times in everything. But this kind of first time is the kind that gives you anxiety. Your anxiety shoots up the roof. You start having some butterflies in your stomach. This is the kind of first time that gives you an adrenaline rush of the unknown. Especially if you have no one to give you a brief of what to expect. But worry not. Today, I will break it all down for you. So you can recommend this video to anyone and everyone traveling to the Middle Eastern Peninsula for work for their first time. Hello guys, welcome to Himscope KE. I'm King Umulo. And today we are going to discuss how financially prepared we should be when coming to the Gulf for the first time. Now this now during this corona period, there are things are a bit different. The moment you land in Qatar, at least ensure you have a smartphone and at least 3,000 shillings, an equivalent of 100 Qatari rials. This will get you through the whole quarantine period comfortably. Why a smartphone? Someone might, someone might ask. Thing is, in Qatar, our medical information is digitized. Therefore, after being tested for corona and finishing, the two week quarantine period, you need to have downloaded an Eteraz application. This application shows your health, health status. Some companies will provide smartphones for their new recruits, but just to be safe, come with yours. The Eteraz app has a health code color that holds your personal data and uh, the personal data is encrypted to maintain your privacy. This health code colors shows your, your health status depending on the color. And you need to know you cannot be discharged from quarantine if you do not have this application installed on your phone. For this application to work, you need a valid Qatar number, either from Vodafone or Oredo. The smartphone that you are going to come with should not be these promotional smartphones bought using Bonga points or the factory locked phones that only allow specific service provider SIM cards to work. Note, this is very, very important because you cannot be discharged from quarantine if you do not have this application installed on your phone or if your health status is questionable or unclear, you still cannot be discharged from quarantine. Another person might ask, why specifically 100 Qatari Rial or 3,000 Kenyan shillings, those coming from Kenya? This is a very good question. So this is uh, what happens when you arrive at Hamad International Airport you will have to buy a SIM card. It will cost you about 20 to 30 Qatari real. And uh, you will have to recharge the SIM card with either data card or calling card. Considering you will be in quarantine for a maximum of two weeks, you will need some internet to keep in touch with your family at home and your friends. While buying the, your internet data, make sure you inquire from the sales salespeople about the tariffs that are favorable for you. Quarantine will be pretty boring depending on where you'll be, where you'll be staying, which hotel you'll be staying. So I would suggest that you get your own TV shows and movies to keep you company. After finishing 
quarantine the whole 14 days or seven days, depending with the, what will be shown on your visa, a representative from your company will come and pick you from your hotel and take you to your company accommodation. Remember, you will only leave quarantine if your health status color is green, which means you do not have a positive result. On reaching your company accommodation, they will provide you with some basic essentials like the mattress that you'll be sleeping on, like the bedding, the cookware, and an advance. This totally depends with your company, but it is it usually ranges between 200 and 500 Qatari Riyadh. Again, do not take this information with a grain of salt. These things differ from company to company. Transportation will always be provided with your company and they will take you to markets where you will be able to buy whatever you want. Now remember, your movement will be limited until you receive your national Qatar ID. This may take between 5 days to 14 days. Stay safe, always wear a mask whenever in public and uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and share this video widely. Help a friend to help a friend. At least this way, you don't fly in blind. Follow us on social media at himscopeke. Follow me on Instagram at kingomulo. I've been your host, kingomulo. Stay tuned. Wallan. Well